Good afternoon. Welcome to the midday prayer. I'm going to make sure that I am actually live and then I will start our time together. All right. I'm going to keep an eye out and hopefully <laughs> this will work and I won't have a blank. I, uh, I won't have a blank screen or a black screen, but please keep me up to date if you see anything. All right. Or if you don't see me, I guess I should say. I'm going to continue our uh, time of prayer, at least with me, um, with a uh, Advent devotional under African skies. These are reflections for Advent and Christmas. So I'm going to just continue with that for the rest of our time together. Um, good afternoon, Diane. Welcome. Right. Um, so today's devotional um, reads Grace Upon Grace, and I'm just going to start with the scripture reading here. It's from the Gospel of John. One thing I struggle with with some devotionals is uh, taking small parts of sections and like reading it. <laughs> That's okay. I'll show you. All right. So this devotional starts with John chapter one. Different verses that you can see up on the screen. I'll read it to you. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. From the fullness of his grace, we have all received one blessing after another. Again, that's the Gospel of John, chapter 1. Good afternoon, Mom. I'm going to read this devotional to you all. I think it's quite beautiful. Again, um, this devotional is uh, comes from a writer in South Africa. So the context is the continent, but specifically South Africa. Africa is not only the birthplace of humanity. It is also the nesting place of just about every known religion. In addition to the many indigenous beliefs, in the cities, towns, and villages, religious people in their different garbs with their different holidays and forms of worship are part of everyday scene. In the multi-faith world we live in, neighboring with Muslim, Jewish, Hindu, animistic, and indigenous believers, and many others, what makes Christianity different? What does Christianity possibly have to offer in this setting? This child who was born in the stable to this first time mother while her husband assists as best as he can in the fumbling darkness, this child was in the beginning and Genesis was with God before the foundation of world, the foundations of the world were laid. This child was in fact God. Christianity offers divinity that chooses to take an, on humanity and all that humanity experiences, birth, childhood, poverty, friendships, rejection, joy, betrayal, and in the end, death. There is a profound mystery here when we med meditate on the fact that God chose to undergo all we can possibly experience. When God took a body of flesh and lived among us, and in that living and dying, Jesus provides for us two things that no other religion offers. Well, I'm going to add a little side note. I disagree with this, but... <laughs> I think what she is saying is that in um, in the living and dying, Jesus provides grace upon grace. 
and the right to call God Father. Perhaps the uniqueness is the humanity of Jesus and the belief of the Trinitarian God. We will go with that. All right. <laughs> Um, the reflection here is what practical impact does it have on your life to absorb the idea that God, divinity, chose to experience the same human frustrations, tension, heartaches, fear that you are experiencing? That God chose to suffer, that God chose to die. What shape does the fullness take in your life? What does grace mean practically to you? Do you fully really realize the immeasurable gifts we have received? to call God parent or father. Well, I think that's a helpful reflection, um, especially as we are preparing and waiting and observing this season before Christmas and this anticipation. Um, what does that entail for you to to believe what we profess, to believe what you believe, right? And to hear grace in it. So maybe that's a good reflection for this midweek um, time together. Uh, if you have a thought, please share it in the comments. If not, feel free to reflect on it on your own. All right. Today's uh, song is Mother and God, You Gave Me Birth. Sure, I have it. There you go. Um, oh, I always do this before I get there. It is available in the red hymnal of the ELCA. Um, it's also available in other hymnals, but that's the one I'm using today. I've done this one before, I feel like, but it's quite beautiful. This is just a balance, if you will when we speak of God um, and the nurturing aspect of God. And um, this song in particular is quite beautiful. So I'm grateful to share it with you. I'm gonna share it. And as you get yourself together, perhaps however that looks like for you, grounding your feet, closing your eyes, being present, I'm gonna um, start the song. And then that will lead right into um this prayer i know that there have been some names shared i'll leave a time for that if you want to place them in the comments if you want to share that um but know that we name if you share a name in our prayers if i don't particularly name them on our midday prayers we actually say them um, on sundays and in our staff meetings and we pray throughout the week so um feel free to continue to share those names um, i know pastor mike usually says says the names and I have found that um, I kind of like to continue the prayers and names being shared in the comments um, is the way that I want to do it. All right, so I am going to end with this prayer that's in the devotional after I start this song. All right, prepare your hearts if you can. Give yourself Time to breathe. If you're in a space to do that, hopefully this song will offer some space for you to reflect and, um, and just come into a place of prayer. Okay. Mothering God, you gave me birth in the bright morning of the world, creator, source of every breath, you are my rain, my wind, my Mothering Christ, you took my form.
Nurturing spirit, nurturing one. In arms of patience, hold me close, so that in faith I root and grow until I flower, until I know. Let's pray. Mothering, fathering, God, your eternal word took flesh on our earth and Mother Mary placed her life at the service of your plan. Lift our minds in watch, watchful hope to hear the voice which announces his glory and open our minds to receive the spirit who prepares us for his coming. And O oh God, as we wait, we ask that your nurturing, loving, gracious presence be with those who are in need of your comfort, be with those who are in need of perhaps even a miracle. <laughs> Help us to embrace um, the possibilities of true love, and joy and peace in the here and now. We pray all of this in the one who came among us, Jesus. Amen. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for uh, being present here with us uh, this afternoon. Pastor Mike will hopefully be with you on Friday. Um, Please, again, remember to send any prayer requests. Please feel free to um, share any thoughts you might have um, that you might be thinking of during this time of Advent. And uh, thank you always for coming and being present at this time. Peace and blessings. Enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. Bye, y'all.